What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net, and I released a video the other day inside of IIS for creating custom 404 error pages. However, I neglected to give out all the information that was required in order to make this work. So this basically is a part two to my recent lesson, and here we go. This right here is basically what we're going to get whenever we type in the following URL. This is the original website. The one that I showed in the new video or the recent video was the new website. And so what we got here is that we got a 404 page. So I want to point that page, as I said in the recent video, it's going to be going to uh, the actual URL and then to the error page and then 404.asp. We'll click on OK and that's going to give it right there. Now when we come over here and we reload the page, we're not going to go nowhere. Okay, so what has to be done other than this, we got to right click and go to edit. If you read over here, you have configured detail error messages to be returned for both local and remote requests. When this option is selected, custom error configuration is not used. So we come over here to, we right click and choose edit feature settings. And we choose custom error pages or you can choose detailed error for local requests and custom error pages for remote requests and what this would do is that on the server that this is running on it will show this page right here on the the other computer it will show the custom error so we're going to choose the custom error we're going to click on ok and now we come over here right click and load and as you can see it loads the page so i am very very sorry that i did not add this into the first video y'all have a good one wayne baron here with darkfakes.net with is 404 error pages y'all have a good one now bye bye